Okay, grab and board. All right. So we've got Elon, but let's take a look at the, what the engineer can do. So Daffle, EVA for me. We could just have Fad or climb down actually, but okay. So we've got a probe core in here. Let's pin Daffle's. Daffle's got the uh, the parachute. Maybe we can move the parachute in here because otherwise Daffle can't carry that. I don't know. Can that Daffle pick that up? And how do I place stuff? So EVA construction mode. I'm just looking this up now. Click the hook icon. Okay. Click the hook icon on the right icon group during EVA. Oh, hook. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. Hold on a sec. Let's move a little bit more conveniently. I want to get to the top docking port there. Okay. Is it on? Okay. First use of... Okay, so we didn't need the little repair kit. First use of the system. For, I want to check whether it's the right way around or not. So we won't have to have Elon come over here and land on the moon and everything. We've placed the hex. And later on, Daffle's going to have to take the hex and put it on the rover. So my first experience with that system, the little hook icon there. Okay, well, so now we have SAS, yep. Okay, we're in business. Daffle can do it on her own, which means that Elon can go back home. But first, uh, let's finagle a uh, transfer over to the moon from Minmus with this. Uh, first of all, we'd want to go into a lower orbit, so we actually have to depart on this side. Uh, or more like that. Yeah. We want to hit at that descending node if possible. We're re-encountering Minmus, which is annoying. Let's try and avoid doing that. Okay, so let's delay. Uh, we want to go orbit by orbit. So plus orbit, plus orbit. Oh, well, there's a moon encounter right there. Well, that's an encounter. Let's see. That seems a little bit better than some of the other opportunities I saw. So the rover is there, so we have to have some sort of inclined orbit to it. It might be too inclined, but it's a minor burn, and then we probably don't have too much to do to capture into orbit around the moon either, judging from the curvature of that orbit. So it is in one day, one hour. We'll just... Um, do this first. How long is it going to take to get there? Three days. I think we can, like, we could probably just transfer the other pod back right now. Let's see. Let's plot that too and see which one should go first. Okay, we can do the exit burn with this craft much sooner. So we'll do that. We carried way too much Delta V. But I was thinking that there was a chance that we would land this somewhere as well. But we, I didn't end up doing that. Didn't put landing legs on it. Didn't need to put landing legs on it if we tucked the terrier in a little bit more. And Minmus exit burn. Hello. We could have done some more stuff like... We could have gotten the, uh, the materials bay science from the materials bay in the satellite. Could have done that, but too late now. Okay, 24 kilometers should be fine. All right, and this will be back in two days. So first we do... Nope, I want to be in this view. First we do the maneuver with that ship. And then we focus on Elon and Daffle coming back. Oh, sorry, Daftry. Elon and Daftry coming back, and then Daffle will try and land on the moon. So many things. Our remaining Delta V should definitely be enough to land and everything. I feel like we do want to hit the moon a little bit precisely, so let's chase that. Okay, 
that's as good as we had it. And at the moon, how does it look? Well, we have an encounter. And that's good enough, 20 kilometers. We'll figure out the exact timing to get to that rover location once we get there. But otherwise, yeah, we'll plan for a capture like that. And maybe the moon will rotate so that the rover is underneath this orbit by then. It'll be a little bit dark though. That'll be a downside. All right, so this will arrive in two days, 20 hours to the tracking station. Let's see what we've got. I think Elon and Daftry will be getting back to Kerbin before then. Yep, one day, one hour. So they are next. Okay, there's Kerbin. We could slow down into low carbon orbit with this amount of fuel. It's a shame we're dumping it. Uh, well, let's just focus on the mission here. Didn't do any additional science. Completely focused on our mission parameters. Okay, checking the parachutes. Okay, separating off the service module. And surface retrograde. Well, let's see if we get these two rescues done. Daftry and Elon look comfortable. We are through the reentry heat. Okay, parachute deployment. Okay, splash down and recover vessel. Okay, so they're back. They got some experience and our contracts. We've got Daftry fulfilled and we've got Elon fulfilled. All right, so focusing again on the surface outpost on the moon and landing at the rover. Okay. Daffle time. We have entered Mooner SOI. Verifying our periapsis. It is okay. And making orbit. Okay, that's a fairly low orbit. And we just need to... Well, it's over here right now. Um... It'd be nicer if we meet up with it over here because daylight. So I'll just wait until then. And I'll do that in the tracking station for time warping. Okay, maybe on this next orbit we can hit it. So let's go back. We don't really need to prep the orbit actually. Let's just see if we've got the inclination right as we get close. We're in such a low orbit, we don't really need to get into a pre-descent orbit necessarily. Yep, just like that will do. Get the landing gear down. Lights on, I suppose. Wow, we got lots of lights. Good times. And... Correcting. Okie dokie, and that should be good enough for now. We have a fairly decent thrust to weight ratio, so that shouldn't be a problem. We want surface velocity, of course. I think that's still alright. Seems mostly in line. Oh, we do want to keep that orbit from getting too close just yet. Ah, that's too much. That's too much. Well, I have the Delta V. I intend to use it. Uh, 
Okay, seems like we should lean more onto this side. We don't want the situation to be too far far out of reach for Daffle. Want to easily move the pro probe core onto it. Just sliding along. <laughs> this is not the best way of doing this, but it'll be all right. Uh, I don't want to be sideways. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> rough. That's rough. Uh, that was further away than I really wanted it to be. Hmm. The thing is, I don't think Daffle can carry the probe core that far. So we need to be a little bit closer. Um. That wasn't very successful. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, keep keep that idea going with better success, please. Don't hurt the rover. No. Oh no! Don't go sideways. Don't go sideways. Uh, reaction wheels. Okay, so, hmm, feels close, but I think we can get closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Still not ideal. Really pushing my luck here. Uh, oh, this is worse, probably. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's see if Daffle can do something here. Hmm. So, like... Can Daffle just... What did... Oh, where... Oh, it, it can be just in the middle of nowhere? Oh, no, what happened? No, don't tell me I got rid of it. Oh, no, it's dropped to the ground. Oh, okay, it can, can drop to the ground. Maybe that's for the best. Okay, so it can drop to the ground. I wasn't counting on that when maneuvering this. I thought that Daffle had to attach it to something directly, but okay. Oh, did we get the base contract done? No, oh, it is a surface outpost on the moon. Here, let's see. It doesn't count as a new one again. Let me see. Um, well, we can't, we don't have enough crew to just uh, do anything with it right now. Uh, okay, well. We'll work on that in a sec. Oh! Daffle can kick this? Oh, that's easy. Now you're talking. We're just sliding it along. Okay. So I think what we want to do is go into engineering mode, pick that up. Um. Is that the right way around? Oh, she has a little laser beam. And yep, that's the right way around. Okay, is that good enough to get that rover on the move? This is the rover. Let's start the fuel cell. And 
Where is it supposed to go? We should probably add the arm to it though. Move the rover. To zone 9F34. Got a location for me there? I don't have a marker for this zone that they're talking about. Let's see. Breaks off. Oh, it's going opposite. Okay, well we're moving. I don't know where this zone is. It's not got a lot of traction. So, yeah. Where is this zone? Curbnet access. You got an idea about this zone? Area H50. Well, that's definitely not the area we need. We might need some other thing. Some other component? I don't know. I don't know what else we need to get this moved to the right location. It doesn't seem to have any waypoints. Maybe we should track, uh, check the tracking station. Let's get back, get Daffle back into the base and see if we can at least complete that. But yeah, maybe there's some other component. And we still have to deploy all the sciencey stuff that we brought. Could put the arms on, could do a lot of stuff, but first I want to see about the contract here. So, what about this contract? Still says, maybe if I change what it is, rename vessel base. Daffle, Daffle base. Daffle space. Okay, we'll go to the tracking station and come back and see. Uh, I guess that that's the node, but why doesn't it show me that? Yeah, there's a location. I guess we can generally guess that it's over there. Sort of 100 degrees, if you will. So Daffle Space, will it now acknowledge that it is a mission complete? Okay, we just need to maintain stability for 10 seconds. All right, all right, mission complete. Now, as far as the rover is concerned, I guess we can try and move it. We can bring it back and put the arms later. Um, let's just try and get over to where it's supposed to go. Yes, we're going backwards somehow, but okay. So it's like 100 degrees, it seemed like from where we are right now. Any, oh, now it's showing this on the map. Activate navigation, all right. We are on the move, oh, watch out. Better not go too fast with this, it takes a while to slow down. And again, ETA here. There's a little thing there. Oh, uh, there's another thing over there. Maybe we need to get the scanning arm to scan stuff. Oh, oh no, no! Ooh, that was bad. Let's be careful here. Well, that's an interesting rock. Is that rock floating? That rock is floating. We should probably investigate that. There are actually a bunch of interesting rocks here. Now, if there's ore here, then we can really set up a base. I mean, really confirm this is our permanent base. Okay, we moved the rover. It has successfully moved to its intended location. And I'm gonna move it back because we want to put the other stuff on it and maybe use it for stuff, especially if we, oh, it's blinking now, but uh, yeah, we've done it. Especially if we put a seat on it, a command chair would be nice. I don't know if it's the best rover ever, but it's here and I'll save us some trouble. So there's that. So I'm just gonna get back over to the base so we can use it for practical purposes. Okay, parking. 
And here we are. So there we have it. One launch, all those missions finished. Daftri rescued Elon, rescued that satellite around Minmisk, finished construction of the rover, and built a surface outpost on the moon. Yep. That was good. Now we can look forward to doing other things. Maybe we'll deploy that science. Maybe it's time for Ike. We'll see. But I'll decide that in the next episode. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.